Now that we have the Unity Hub set up, we want to go to our Installs on the left hand side here. Click on the Installs button. The install is going to take you to the spot where you actually have all of your installed Unity versions. Uh, by default, if you just simply installed the Hub, then this will be blank. What we want to do is actually install the latest version. Uh, this one, you can actually install a latest version or you can go back and you can grab an older version. There are LTS, which is long-term support versions. Those are going to be what I would consider more of the more stable versions of Unity. You can go up to the Add button. The Add is going to allow you to actually uh, add in one of them. If you can't find, if you notice right here, you can't find what you're looking for, you can always download from the archive. Uh, and you can also get the access for the long-term support. Inside of here, we have our latest official releases. It just all depends on when you're watching the video. You may be seeing one that is a uh, 2019.1, and then you might see one that's a 2019, for instance, with this, with a 0.38 uh, or a 2020. So any of those, the, uh, the one that we're going to be focusing on is just simply 2019. So if we were to click on this one and say Next, it's going to give you the options of what to include. Uh, if this is your very first time installing Unity, that probably means you also need to install Visual Studio. You could install it directly from here. So you could check this, and it's going to actually install Microsoft's Visual Studio for you right there. Then down below, this is all about uh, what you need, and really just kind of is more of a when you need it. So for instance, you may not need the, uh, the mobile builds. Uh, you may not need any of the external stuff. So you could just skip all of those. However, if you just want to grab up everything at one time and wait for a little bit because these files are pretty big, you could download all of them and, uh, and then have all the documentation and everything as well. Your language packs at the very bottom are also available right there. So if you notice, select a version of Unity, and uh, we've already done. The add modules is what we were doing next. We don't need any of these right here. So we're just going to skip that part. If you do though, if you wanted to, for instance, get the WebGL build, you could do this one so that we can build out. Actually, I think that's going to be what we use for our standard for building out our projects. So you could click on the WebGL build support and uh, download that with it. I've already got it, so I'm not going to download that one again. Now that we have it done, we're just going to click on done. It's going to ask you to make sure that they can make changes. You say yes. And notice right here, it's actually installing, so the little blue bar uh, is going to start moving to the side until it gets completed. Once it's complete, we'll use this one to uh, open up a new project. Now that it has been downloaded, you'll see the install right here. There'll be, if you hover over, you'll see your location for it. And then the little settings button on the side, you have the add modules. The add modules are the ones that we looked at before. At any point, you can actually add to it. Something to remember, this is just um, something you want to make sure you, you take note of, is that uh, each project has a different set of modules. If I install, and if I install the Android build for the 19.33, uh, uh, that's not a universal for all of these. Each one, each time you want to install that, you would actually add the module and you would add the support for it. All of these are separate builds and they all require a version to work with, so you have to make sure that you're updating each time when you go to a different project on those. All right, so now that we have them, if you want to ever remove it, you can also go here and say uninstall, and you'll uninstall this version of Unity build. We can go back to projects, we can go to new. The drop down is there in case you have multiple builds. You can actually say new and then choose the latest build you want. I can then say that I want to do a 3D, 2D, or extras. Um, the other options, I would stay, I, I wouldn't jump on board with those until Unity comes out of their beta with it. Uh, the most solid ones to start with is just simply the 2D and 3D. You can choose your project name. This is just going to be uh, my first project. We can navigate to the, um, the location for it. By clicking on the button right here, we'll just open it up. And we can make a new folder on our desktop or in a location that you have for your game projects. 
say my first project and what it's looking for is the folder so I can select the folder itself and say select and then from here you simply want to say create so when you create it what you're going to notice is that you're going to have the first time through it's going to say so if you have certain firewalls or anything just say allow access and then it's going to start loading up the project it's going to get all the information required so that you can have a, uh, a, a just a brand new build of unity with a blank scene where we can get started there we go so now that we have our new scene and all of our elements inside of here you'll notice depending on the version that you use um, there's going to be a new set of icons there's going to be flat set of icons and then there'll be some different bars and elements this is all going to be based on the version every version they have tends to be different so don't don't be too um, taken back uh, if you see a version of unity and it has a different skin to it uh, whether you have a skin that's dark or you have a skin that's light either one is going to actually have all the same functionality so uh, that part is just simply a visual uh, element to it there's there's no other issue behind that it's just simply a visual side so now that we have our first project we've gone through the full process now uh, we've gotten our account we've gotten the hub the hub got us to our unity to be able to download the latest package uh, the latest application and then we ran it from there when we created a new one